hey Sagittarius, all placements, as well as Chinese year rat, mutable, beautiful fire. Welcome to the outdoors. It's your magical queen Maggie. Welcome to the Vibe Tribe family, the biggest little family in the world. From literally, I'm so thankful for the 429 subscribers that we have officially reached. I cannot wait to get to 450 so we can give a free giveaway reading. I'm excited to see who's gonna win that one. Because this is the most that everybody's ever actually given me something to draw from so i'm actually super excited um not to mention when we get to 500 subscribers i hope i get five to draw from because i'm giving five away at least so and it doesn't matter if you've already had one and even if you get this specific reading for the 450 you can still try again for the 500 i don't care just give me something to draw from let's communicate let's talk i like to help you i like to like give you guys insight like honestly your stories are your stories and they're unique and authentic and that's the best thing about doing readings because <laughs> no two energies are necessarily the same really you know i mean maybe similarities but not necessarily the full thing you know what i mean so i love tapping in and i love that you guys have the openness to receiving my messages as well as openness to giving me what i need to get from the situation out of the energy field so that makes me super excited and happy to feel that you guys are really open right now i feel like we're in the open and i know you guys are like the girls that just want to have fun and the love and the light and the happiness and you know enjoy your memories and your moments for what it is and for what it's worth and you live everything to the fullest even your sad moments you live it to the fullest you know you just realize that there are meant to be ups and downs in life, right? Like, <clears throat> you're kind of like, you know, it's okay if I'm sad sometimes because it makes me realize when I'm happy. It makes me know what makes me happy. It makes me realize when I'm sad for a few days and then I notice my moods change, like, I'm actually in a good mood, then I realize there's some things that have made, made my situation better and improved it, and then you're happy about that, you know? And then there's other situations that arise that makes you kind of upset or sad or something like that, and the situation could be frustrated and it makes you upset but then it's like you get it out you lived it to the moment for the fullest whatever it is and then you don't even think about it again you don't even think about it anymore you know we'll keep, keep moving on and just remember the good ones the good memories the moments whatever and you do probably remember a lot of the bad ones too but you really just make the the most out of adapting to the situations in your life whatever is given to you put in your put inside your um your floor, your energy field, whatever's put there, you work with it. You do what you need to do with it. You know what I mean? So let's get an oracle for Sagittarius. Thank you, universe, God, and spirits for being outside today with us. So lots of romance and love, guys. We got root chakra and adapt. So this is beautiful. Some kind of like offering, like an actual offering, like a promise ring or something like that's coming your way i see roses being definitely a part of this whether these roses are spread across the bedroom or this is an actual red rose with a lot of meaning behind it or even a bouquet of roses but something massive with this energy is adapting and i'm shaking the cards when i do that so it's not my phone red self is self-awareness and passion is what red is about right root chakra location is the base of spine stability and security it's about earth which is the element of the root chakra so groundedness allowing the vibration of the earth's natural frequency is to vibrate up your spine and flow out into all of your limbs just like we had earth day yesterday right earth day connecting connectivity to mother earth and mother nature like we're out today connecting and really feeling the vibrations of the earth today the adaptation i just love it if you guys have libra or chinese your dog you should go watch theirs seriously we just talked about adapting to earth and what earth does during the adaptation of the weather and everything like that is huge it's, it's particularly like in the first two minutes so if you guys have time you should go check that out anyway <clears throat> 39 and 31 are your numbers here which 1939 is the year of the rabbit, which is equivalent to Pisces. 1993 is the year of the rooster, which is equivalent to Virgo, which 1993 is my year. Uh, 1931 is the year of the sheep, which is equivalent to Cancer. And 2013 is snake, which is equivalent to Taurus. Okay? All right. So I'm going to read you the root chakra energy. Now I'm going to read you this energy of changes around you and your partner, strengthening and developing your current relationship, expressing true authenticity to one another, giving and receiving equal give and take, universal law. 
Building an indestructible and remaining relationship based on mutual respect, deep affection, love, adherence, and intimacy necessary to establish mutual agreements and balance between your partner and you at this time. Love being filled with new inspired and passionate energy. Teamwork will elevate you to a more profound level in love, communication, and trust. Okay? So those are your main cards of the thing. We're going to shuffle up the deck and ask Spirit and Universe and God to see what they want you to know. What kind of clarity you are in need of in that situation or whatever situation you're in currently that you need guidance through, help with, whatever it may be that you're just looking, you know, maybe just for some kind of message to a question inside, inside your mind. Like if you see synchronicities or something like that, you know what I mean? We'll see. Whatever we can tap into within your subconscious Sagittarius. Okay? You guys have beautiful energy flowing. I love the energy flow lately. Um, you guys are really doing your work. Like, whether it's really the Vibe Tribe family all in all doing what they're supposed to be doing. Or it's just like the group of the community out there as one connecting and doing their thing so wonderfully that it's starting to fall into place. Which is really good. Okay. On the bottom, the devil is in the reverse. It keeps keep, it keeps popping out to me in the reverse. I just wasn't talking about it because we were talking about what we were talking about. And so I didn't really want to like disturb what I was saying. But yeah, the devil keeps rep like repeatedly saying sing it's saying itself. It's like, hey, free, freedom. So literally girls just wanna have fun. You take a beautiful girl and hide her away from the rest of the world. Bitch, no, you ain't no more. I'm going out here in the sun and I'm going to live in my life. So you guys could just be like freeing yourselves from an energy of like what I think is like a part of your birth chart could be Capricorn because this is what the devil is. So you could have Capricorn in your chart somewhere. Look up where your house placement is. And this house placement we could specifically be like like the way that uh, Capricorn be, can be possessive over a certain specific place, whatever the house play, placement that it is, you could be releasing that completely and not having to really like need that part of your chart for a while. So you could be releasing that specifically so that you can continue to keep adapting and have more awareness to self, which you may need that specific part of your chart later on, but there's a part of it that's not like, it's not attuning with you at this current time. So there's other parts of your chart that you need to be more elaborated on. So wherever you have Capricorn in your houses, because everybody has all the 12 signs in all of their houses, you just switch, every, everybody's different, you know? But like you, you find wherever it is and you need to know like that's one of the part of you that like you kind of don't need that specific like trait about that. You need to let that go. So, all right, let's see what goes on now. Yeah, they got the Hermit and the Five of Cups. You guys have been reflecting a lot about loss and sadness and grief. Like, whether you guys have lost somebody due to actual death, then, like, they went to the spiritual. Some of you could have lost a friend maybe up to five years ago. I want you to know that this friend, they, I feel like either they overdosed or they literally were just, there's something wrong with their health. Like, their stomach. I mean, their heart. But they, there's something wrong, but they, they passed away, and you're, like, sad about this friend. Like, I feel like you're thinking about the memories that you shared with this person. I'm sorry if you ever really did lose a friend. That's not fun. Um, I've, you know, not really lost that many people in my life that I, you know, was close to. I've lost my two brothers, and I've lost my grandfathers but that's like you know i'm not ever and ever really wanted to like ever experience what you guys like, have gone through with this situation so my condolences to you and that's like a hard hitter this person i feel like you would talk to you about anything they would listen to you they would like give you advice but it was like not advice that anybody else would give you like it was really peer in advice and they were also very genuinely happy for you. I feel like I'm getting a frog in my throat because I feel like you guys are like, oh my god. <clears throat> for some reason, I'm getting K and J and M. 
Okay, so some kind of like upset though, you guys are feeling maybe a little bit of a remorse or sadness though about something else, but you have been deeply and in having introspection about some situation. So let's see what we get. There's some been some insecurities, but it's starting to come up upwards so that you're releasing these insecurities. Remember that devilish energy was in the reverse, but there is some kind of commitment that you're like putting towards fertile energy, like really putting towards the work of yourself. And maybe even your environment, like around you, could be really trying to clean or really trying to put things in order. Like, wherever you can find the femininity or even the power of feminine to create, clean, organize, teach, being wise. Like, there's a lot of wisdom that comes with this energy that you're, like, picking up and you're being just more committed to... The things around you i feel like you're also being more gracious and more genuine with your own throat chakra so when you start to speak things you're speaking more genuinely from yourself not from other places but from literal a place of self and that's taurus energy so you could have recently just started that we're in taurus season currently libra and taurus so libra energy like i said if you guys need to go watch that specific energy you guys should because that is amazing what we talked about there was pretty intriguing. Okay. So, let's see what else we want to talk about for Sagittarius. Scorpio is out here with the Five of Cups and Chinese Year Pig and then Virgo and Rooster, which was already with the 1993. Okay, let's see. So, you guys are willing to move forward, talk about the energies of maybe feeling like overburdened. I feel like a lot of you, if you're an Empress energy like we were just talking about, you know that the past, that emperor that you thought was maybe the emperor of your story, maybe you took a, there was a lot of things that happened between the two of you, but this was not necessarily the emperor to your story, or maybe divine timing had a lot to play with that. You were supposed to do that specifically and then move forward into something better. And that wasn't necessarily, like, it was just a teaching, teaching you a lesson and you've had to learn to really work on that throat chakra. Like I said, you guys are still, if you're speaking more authentic, authentically and genuinely from your throat chakra now, even though it's like vulnerable and sensitive, you're still feel free enough to do so. And like you are learning a lot through that energy, not to mention with the page of swords. So this is a, like a new beginning for you in a sense of really being open towards what has been done in your life towards you and how you can really utilize that power towards something better that's where that awareness comes from and where your adaptability also in lies okay see you have all water and all air and we have a little bug here as well i don't know what kind of bug you are but sorry i'm just kind of like i don't know anyway five of cups the hermit so you have an earth sign, water sign, you have all water, an Aries and dragon with the emperor in the reverse, but there's some kind of true union that you're coming into, so I just saw the four of wands on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there, um, that is about like feeling welcomed in situations, you, but yeah, you abandon things from the past and manifesting new things with this energy of attainment through all kinds of lessons and triumphs and progress and research like you've been researching things like that's why i said if you already know the house placement of wherever capricorn could be then you should check that out and that's something you're releasing for sure and like gemini and virgo energy so virgo's heavy out here in pisces again so with the rabbit okay that was heavy too one two three and virgo's one two three yeah, so you guys are putting things into new perspectives like there's the seven of cups and then this is where you had like a lot of indecisive energy but this is finally where you can complete that cycle because of thinking of sacrificing certain illusions hallucinations delusions things like that where it was just blocking your clear-headed mind it was like it was scattered making you scatterbrain confused like a confusion so this is your time to make that happen where you can make more of a decision when it comes to this new world that you're walking into literally pisces again scorpio again and scorpio again leo aquarius twice and i hear a bee somewhere 
And we also have the energy of Taurus and Snake, which is the other fixed Earth energy. Fixed energy, I should say, but that's not out here, so. This is you really, I love the way these cards reflect out here. They're so beautiful, holy moly. Um. You are ready to move to the next level. You know, you're ready to sacrifice certain old things, old habits, old behaviors, whatever. Um, even like, just even old patterns, you're ready to let them go, okay? You are. You are ready to be the manifester that you want to be. Manifesting beautiful things within your life. And once you manipulate that energy, you can have anything you want, you know? Yeah, and this is all you feeling nostalgic about something from the past. And... It's actually pushing you forward. Like that friend is there for you. Even though they're passed away, that they're really pushing you. They're helping you to reach your higher purpose and will enter you into a brand new realm, a brand new realm of life that you're gonna be really adapting to because there's been so many setbacks. There's been so many delays within your own energy, within yourself. This is eight of wands. You have to block certain people out of your life for good. And I mean, cut negative cords for good. Like. I need to cut negative cords, please, Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Can we please snip the cords for at least three months for these energies of Sagittarius, please? Everywhere. All over the place. Let them thrive for a little while so that they can actually see what their life will turn into without the negative energies continuously attaching to themselves. Thank you. Yeah, there's been a lack of awareness within yourself and with the, and the energies around you. And this is a time for you to finally have union and welcome yourself to this energy of you. Just like you're welcoming yourself at this point. It's like you fitting in to what it is you need to fit into. And however it is you need to fit into it. It's like you're putting all the necessary requirements towards having the momentum gain its own like energy. You're even like wanting to share some type of territory and be the empress to whoever this, this i feel like there is a new person there could be a new person in your life or somebody that's been there in your life but i feel like it's more than it is than it has been because of the changes around you and your partner specifically which is strengthening and development so this all is like happening and you're like really deeply diving into yourself because you've repressed a lot of emotions as well and i think you've noticed that this caused you maybe some anger or some aggression and like it's only caused you to feel more of that suffering like you really need to heal this energy and it's caused you like to feel like you either either have somebody in your like the person in your life now is causing you to have like hidden motives or something like that and you, you feel like they're doing stuff behind your back and they're really not and it just causes you more hurt than anything and it's a time to release that completely so that you can move forward with your life and that you can have a private achievement be made between the two of you you know, but it's time to make that decision to be in that support, supportive energy between the two of you to adapt with one another, to make necessary agreements and compromises within this relationship that you do hold with this person. Let's actually get you one more oracle. Take this for the Sagittarius, please. Yeah, overcome. Number 25, okay? 1952 is actually the year of the dragon, which we flip into Aries energy, which is the emperor out here. Um, 1925 is the year of the ox, which is flip into Capricorn. We have Cancer energy. Remember, we did have Cancer come out with the Page of Cups, and 31 is adapt as well, but overcome. Bighorn sheep is penetrating power, sacrifice. Sacrifice with the hangman. This is creative ways to achieve certain breakthroughs. So you can level up to the next step and have the new world that you're trying to enter and that penetrating power that you're trying to return to and have, right? Let's get you guys a few messages. We have someone is trying to intervene with what you are trying to achieve success with. So please be careful. Many people would like to do that recently. I truly believe with all my soul we are meant to be with one another from the feminine. I only have one of these things out today. Ex-partner has something to do with the current situation. See? And we also have, I can see and feel your energy clearing and healing. I feel your release and negativity for the better of our future. Thank you from the feminine. And one more. There's shits and giggles. Okay, three more. Dealing with an athlete, someone who likes sports. My heart won't give up on you. 
And I love watching you sleep so peacefully and undisturbed. You are perfect to me. I could use a hug soon. And the masculine finally replying. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you for joining me outside. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And be that divine, beautiful creature that you all are.